Hey, this is Terry Toots with a quick tutorial on using the Simple Shape Shader in Terrigen. Like it says on the box, the Simple Shape Shader is a simple tool, but it's also very versatile. Today, we'll look at a variety of uses for simple shapes and some of the key settings you'll want to be aware of. One of the most straightforward ways to use the simple shape is to directly displace the terrain. This can be very useful for blocking out the basic shapes of hills or mountains for a specific scene, or for digging out holes for lakes. You can then add procedural displacement to break up the shape and add more realistic detail. The second use is masking, and this is one that is pretty common. Most of the shaders in Terrigen have mask inputs, and you can use a simple shape to easily restrict them to a specific area. You can mask colors, displacement, populations, or even clouds. By using a long rectangle as a mask and adding some warp, you can also create simple roads or rivers pretty easily. So let's take a look at some of the key settings for the simple shape shader. First and most obvious are the position, size, and shape. Terrigen currently allows for rectangles, circles, and polygons. One of the more useful settings is the smooth step edge profile. This will allow you to create a smooth fade in from the edge of the shape, either by meters or by percentage. Finally, if you're planning to use this shader for displacement, make sure to come into the Displacement tab and check Apply Displacement. The displacement has its own edge profile settings as well to smoothly fade in the change if desired. Hopefully this gives some idea of what the simple shape shader is and can be used for. It's a simple tool but forms the basis for many impressive Terrigen scenes and with some creativity can even produce some interesting results on its own.